Before I came to this rally, I watched a, a horrible video on YouTube. It was the last moments of life of two brave freedom fighters who were the subject of a chemical weapons attack, a legal chemical weapons attack by the Turkish military in South Kurdistan, or also known as Northern Iraq. One was a woman and one was a young man. And to see the last hours, what the agony they went through, first of all, the delirium, it was as though they were, uh, had lost control of their senses. They were laughing uncontrollably. And then the slow end to death, gasping for breath. It was a terrible thing to see. And it's the reason why I'm very proud to be here standing with you today. In the face of international silence, this is not the first time that the Turkish military has used these illegal chemical weapons against the Kurdish people. They have been doing it for years. And there have been calls to the United Nations, calls to the organization for the prevention of chemical weapons to investigate, to expose, condemn and stop Turkey carrying on this illegal and brutal form of warfare against a people they have repressed for many, many years. But all to no avail. There is a terrible silence about this great crime that is being committed in open sight Turkish media channels have published footage of the Turkish military using these chemical weapons against the freedom fighters in the mountains. They have published video footage of Turkish military officers saying, use the chemical weapons, use the chemical weapons. They have published video of the chemical weapons being pumped into the entrances of the caves in which the freedom fighters have been hiding, taking refuge from relentless bombing attacks by the Turkish military. Illegal weapons, brutal weapons, weapons that were supposedly banned two world wars ago, nerve agents, horrible consequences on the human beings that they were inflicted on. And yet the world is silent. Why? What is going on here? A group of international physicians for the prevention of nuclear weapons were invited to northern Iraq to come and investigate an earlier crime, an earlier criminal use of chemical weapons against the Kurds by the former dictator of Iraq, Saddam Hussein. That was a long time ago in Halabja. It's an infamous part of history. Now they were welcome to go and look at that, but when they asked to look at the sites of the most recent use of chemical weapons against Kurds, the local authorities pushed them away and said, no, nothing to see here. It is worth remembering that when the massacre in Halabja, when the chemical weapons were used against Kurds by Saddam Hussein in Halabja, then as well, the world and the West was silent and tried to cover it up. In fact, unfortunately, some of those chemical weapons probably came from the Western powers themselves. And that's why they're trying to cover it up. But now there's a different kind of a collusion. A collusion, you know, to, to allow Turkey to continue its genocidal war against the Kurdish people. So I come here with you and I share your calls to the Australian government to speak up against this atrocity and to demand that the Organization for the Prevention of Chemical uh, Use of Chemical Weapons and the United Nations take immediate action on this question. Thank you. Stop! 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 Stop!